Central University's iconic fountain has been nominated to the National Register of Historic Places. Marley Pinchock takes a look at the impact that nomination has on campus. Marshall University's Memorial Fountain, a landmark in the hearts of many, created in memory of the 75 individuals lost in the 1970 Marshall University plane crash and officially dedicated two years later. Now, this local landmark has the potential to be recognized on the national level. Today, my heart is filled with gratitude because the state's archive and history commission has nominated the Marshall University Memorial Fountain to be considered at a national level to be on the historic list of monuments around the country. The West Virginia Archives and History Commission visiting Marshall's campus Thursday morning for the passing vote to nominate the Memorial Fountain to the National Register. From here, the nomination travels up the ladder to the federal level for review. If successful, here's insight on what will happen. So it becomes essentially a national treasure, so it becomes protected, so uh, that the maintenance and things like that to help uh, maintain its integrity over time are uh, enhanced and there's more opportunities to receive grant funding to help with that preservation. This is an amazing story. We understand this fountain is more than a piece of art. It reminds us of a purpose, a reason, and not only commemorates the 75 whose lives we lost on that fateful night on November 14, 1970, but it reminds us that we have the opportunity to rise from those ashes, to carry their memory forward, and to continue to show the world what is possible when you turn adversity not into an excuse, but into a reason. In Huntington, Marley Pinchock, WSAZ News Channel 3. Marshall President Brad Smith says that today's nomination will be submitted to the National Park, and it's expected to take about 45 days to find out whether or not Marshall's Fountain will be one of the nation's newest monuments added to the list.